Hello again. Um, I just could not find a way to turn the camera without um, killing the video. Uh, so I guess this would just be like the second part, you know, to that video uh, continuation. But anyways, um, <clears throat> this terminal is quite bad. Like as, as I was saying, this is literally where I'm, I've got to like now sit or lay down for the next seven odd hours. Well, not quite seven hours because um let me say it takes about like an hour to get through like maybe around 4:30 uh do check in and then probably security will open and then I I go through security and then maybe I'll I'll get somewhere where there's actually a chair actually yeah that is the case so but like before the check in and before security it's just not that comfortable especially for this terminal too like as you can see it's really empty um somebody's sleeping on there there's a dude who's literally sleeping on the floor um so <laughs> but, but um it is such a pain anyways it's quite empty see really really empty <clears throat> um so yeah just once in a while people will come up and down um and it's a burden because like I still have my suitcases with me so whenever I want to go to the toilet then I have to like take haul them with me um, and then bring them back because people will not watch them for you you know because everyone is just on the edge because um, I've seen on these uh, immigration videos where like someone might have something in their suitcase and then they will tell you to watch it for you and obviously when 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 the security come to investigate like that person is gone <laughs> and then you're there so they'll probably like put it on you so so i can understand why people don't do that but um anyway as you can see the time 11 36 so got a long way to go but I think I'll just I'll just split split things down. So let me say I've got like five hours left. Because once I check in, then I can go through security and then I think things should become easier because past security then there's probably chairs and more comfortable places to sit. So so all in all not that bad. And then from there it, it won't be long until you know we have to board the flight and leave but um anyway i'm hopeful that everything will go smoothly because i've been through a lot of crap today um i even forgot my travel pillow hence why i have to like use my jacket to to make a pillow but i'm not happy about that because um it's quite comfortable you know to have a travel pillow but i was so stressed out um, I was so stressed out because I didn't know whether I had all the things that I need to be able to board my flight and frankly I actually do not know yet I will know definitely once I get in the plane have a seat that time I'll feel more comfortable because I know that I've, I've made it basically um, but at this point anything can go wrong within the past week from Monday in fact, from Sunday up till now, so much has changed. So much has changed. Just within the span of a couple of hours, France completely shut down. People started panicking. Supermarkets started emptying because of obviously the panic buyers. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it just, it sucks, really sucks. But. Uh, we'll just have to go through this um, and make it to my final destination so which hopefully to by tomorrow um, afternoon I should touch down in Freetown and uh, get through their own testing because when I get there I have to do two more tests I have to do a um, a fast test I forget the name and then I have to do another um, PCR test the the quick test which i believe is also another antigen test um obviously you get the results in about 40 minutes 
So if it comes back negative, then you continue. You know, they, they let you through the, the security. Um, and then you wait for 48 hours to receive your uh, PCR test. If the antigen test comes back positive, <laughs> then you're pretty much fucked because you you'll now get um you'll get quarantined in one of the hotels, probably like Lunge Hotel, and you have to pay for that. And then you'll get quarantined until um, the results for the uh, for what's it called the results for the um, for the PCR test comes through. Um, so that's how it works. But I don't think I should have any issues because I mean I've I've done the PCR test ten days ago, not not ten days ago, um, like six days ago, something like that, five six days ago, came back negative and uh, I've been like avoiding people since then so and i've also done another one today which was the antigen came back negative so i, so I think i'll be all right you know and i think i'll be all right uh, so but you never know these things you never know because there's, there's also false positives so <laughs> and that can really screw up your day but um anyway this is what we have to deal with so uh, I'll just leave it there um, and I just want to ask you to uh, like, subscribe and share and uh, click the notification bell so that you get notification when I post a new video because like I said I will be posting quite a lot so, um, so that's all for now. Um, you all have a good night because I won't be I won't be having a good night <laughs> so well anyways tada